Uh, my role as a site engineer on site uh, is to look after all the quality uh, for the project and make sure that we're building it correctly. Uh, I also look after all of the programming and making sure that we are meeting all the deadlines that we need to do. Uh, behind me you can see uh, the foundations beginning of bridges 2 and 3. Uh, these, this is where the northbound on-ramp is going to come down. Uh, which is going to cut across uh, from north of Otaki and come down onto the expressway. At the moment we are building the central abutment um, and then we're going to move over to the rest of bridge 3 and then move back onto bridge 2 which is on my right. In this bridge uh, we have 300 precast panels which have all been made uh, down at our precast yard or at Bridge Lodge. Uh, in total we have 2,400 precast panels to make, which covers just under 8,000 square metres. So the central block behind us requires 7,500 cubes of soil, which is approximately three Olympic sized swimming pools. Uh, in total this area requires 26,000 tonnes of fill to be moved from Bridge Lodge, uh, which is on the south side of the Oteki River, uh, down here by trucks. Uh, we're currently running it in at two trucks, um, averaging 10 to 12 loads a day. The reason for constructing an RE wall uh, on this, this project compared to the uh, last section of the expressway um, is all to do with the ground conditions. Uh, this section of ground underneath us um, is all relatively stable and doesn't have a lot of peat. Uh, so we decided during our, our design and, and tender stage um, to build an RE wall. As part of, part of our design, um, we've taken the liberty to, to make all of the precast panels uh, out of exposed aggregate to tie into what has previously been done.